Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, we'll be talking about the application performance optimization. It's a topic that needs a good discussion and something that you can't ignore whenever you're trying to create the new application or any application is in the development stage. These are the some points that needs to be considered. These are the points that needs to be implemented in your applications in order to make your application has a good performance okay so in this video we are focusing on a small topic of this performance optimization that is the explicit column selection explicit column selection is actually a feature that is in the power app which is having a good effect on the performance of your application right now this app this feature is only working for dataverse and for the sql server so let me just show you how it is impacting your application okay so let me just navigate to my screen okay so here i'll start with a new application and show you how it is actually working how does it actually work so we start with the canvas app let's say performance for m f o r performance optimization okay and we are making as a let's say phone layout let's create the application first so here i'll try to show you how this feature is actually worked and how it actually impact your application performance so i got the editor what i'm doing i'm simply inserting one button here and I'm just navigate and one more screen I'm adding here. Okay. And on the first screen, I'm navigating to the second screen. Just to see my events. Okay. And on the second screen, I'm adding one gallery. Well, gallery. Let's add the vertical gallery. Okay. So here, I need to give the name for this gallery and I want to add this gallery to my one dataverse table okay this this would be mine uh, I'm just adding to my dataverse table whose name was dummy table dummy data table dummy table okay so it's connecting okay now it's set connected you can see this table has some records and some images all the all these datas are already there in this table okay so let us go to the settings and in the setting the upcoming feature you have this feature here this is the explicit column selection this feature is actually what is doing it's like how many columns your application is using for the particular table it only loads those columns without loading other columns let's say your application let, let's take an example your table is having around 60 columns okay but in your application you are using only five or ten columns so why to load other columns as well okay so this is the feature that is uh, allowing application to only load those columns which are actually used in your application okay so let me just show you how it is working so for now just turn it off for now okay we have turned it off and see okay so here, here i'm just at the next screen yes this is screen i have this something this is my gallery so add one label and say gallery let me data me data okay give it as a color and make it as white okay and give it to center yes now it's good okay fine now let's save this application
okay and one more thing i want to do is uh, let's see this image is taking too much data to retrieve in the application so let's remove this one no no page no many space okay okay now in the settings i have made this explicit i have disabled this explicit column selection to off okay now save this and check it out how it is working save it okay now again open the power app okay so how we actually try to do is we try to monitor our application what are the different requests that our application is doing okay then only we can understand this type of stuffs okay so the name of the application is performance op so we write search for the performance op it hasn't refreshed let's refresh it one more time i can do this testing from the ed editor as well but uh, i generally prefer to do this testing from here okay it's loaded yet and saved performance opt one more time refresh it loading 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 app, make it to organization apps it's not loaded yet it has saved right yes it has saved in the same environment great Sign in. Still, that application is not in in this list. I'm not sure why it is not coming. Okay, fine. Got it so here you get my application here so let's try to mind it at this okay so that we can see how much data is actually coming how how many type of requests that are actually triggering whenever we try to play our application okay so we have opened our monitor app now we play the published app so once my app has played i can see these three events have loaded okay so okay fine now i click on this button and i come with a different screen and here i can see this gallery okay so let's see when i click on that button this is my that one screen this one okay this was the button that I have clicked and once it comes to the next screen it calls this get rows and in the get rows I can see the response size is 154 it's 1 like 54 and 4 to 3 something any type of size okay I don't know in which whether it is KB or maybe in MB if I try to see the response the response is in table format okay and inside the details if i come to the details and if i try to expand this data i can see here and see this is actually the rows from, from the value okay you can see these this much data is actually coming for a single for a single row even the image okay so you can 
imagine that much size of responses actually coming to your power app so you can understand how much it is affecting your application how much data is coming and how much it is making load to your application okay so now what we do let's try by enabling this page feature okay so we come here and we simply enable this okay i'm not doing anything except this so i just simply triggered it on and now for some modification i'd say updated okay i simply change only the text now save it and publish this one so you can imagine now uh, i'm just closing this one for now and leaving this as it is okay now i published this one yes it has published now i try to refresh the screen remember i have only triggered it on okay i have only turned it on just that feature okay so here i can see mod it is modified on 25 27 minutes seconds ago so let's try now so i am again opening this more intersection so this one was for the previous one and this one would be for the new one okay good now just try to play the published app okay so when this loaded i got these three events now when click on button it navigate to the different screen and here i can see uh no it is not the updated one okay so it would be the same only so let's close this for now and here you can see the number remains the same because it is not the updated one so let's go here and refresh one more time when would i refresh it and just try to again play it go to the monitor section and now try to play the published one okay so okay i got these three events when the app loads when i click on this button i never to different screen and i got this updated one means this is the new version of my application and i get my get, get load here now if i try to see i got the this get rows i got the size of the response is just 3430 and for the previous one it was around 154000 something so here you can see from the response size only how much your uh, this response is actually suppressing your application how it is impacting your performance of your application okay so you can if you try to search like what is is coming in the response if you try to just explore it you you can see in the values i got only those columns that are there in my application that are used in my application only my name my credit on date and that's it and the id that's it if i open with the application i can see i have name i have the credit on and the id that's it only three columns are fetching okay so here from you can see it very well but in case when i have turned that off i got the size is too much okay because it was loading all the columns now it is loading only the limited columns that are using in the application okay so by default this feature is turned on is generally on by default but sometimes your data won't be loaded so people simply come here and simply turn it off okay so this is the impact they don't know about this or maybe sometime they discovered about this feature okay so if while you are working for the performance issues just be ensured that this feature should be disabled enabled sorry this, this feature should be enabled okay then only your response size would be decreased and it will definitely somewhere increase your performance okay so 
yes guys thank you all for watching this video and this is all in this video